Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today we're going to show you something really cool. I'm going to show you how to do bar charts in Excel. We're going to do it two different ways. We're going to do it the first way, the right way, with pivot charts, and that way you have more uh, customization available to you. And then we're going to do a quick method, a quick and dirty method. I'm going to show you right after this. So first, I'm going to end, you're going to end up with a graph like this. I just want to show you the data we're working with today. So today we've got data from a mom and pop type uh, farmers market stand. And this is their week numbers for the year of 2020. And uh, this is their sales, transactions, units, and average basket item and average basket amount for each week, for each, you know, for the average customer that comes in. So what I've done here is I've taken this and I've created a pivot chart right here, right? And then from that, I've created a uh, pivot, this graph right here, which is a bar chart based off the pivot chart. And this shows exactly the breakdown of each week of the average basket items and the average basket amount, which is really helpful for marketing or you know trying to figure out a way to stretch someone's basket. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to show you how to build this from scratch. So let's take this and I'm going to delete this off. So let's delete that and let's get rid of the pivot chart because I want to show you how we're going to do it all. Okay, so we got nothing here, right? All we got is the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to pivot table. Now what I want to do is I minimize this and I want to take this area right here. But I don't want to take the full rows, right? Because I don't want the blanks down below. So what I want to do is I want to do this and then shift and control and down gives me the whole graph or the whole table, right? So I do that. Okay, pops in here. I've got every column I want in there. I want week number here. I want average basket items and average basket amount. Now, keep in mind, these are now summed, and I don't want the sum, so I want the average. So let's go back to this, value field settings, and go to average, okay, and do the same thing for the other one. Value field, average, okay. Now what I've got to do is I've got to change this, the format, to number, commas, in case there were anything bigger there. And this one, I would change that format to currency. Now look what happened. It didn't do it to currency. It did it to uh, two decimals. So we got to do it again. For whatever reason, it's a bug in Excel that it does that. So the second time, see how it went to number instead of currency, even though you saw me pick currency. So we do that. Now it's correct. Now we got to correct these so they state it correctly. So let's get rid of this. We don't want average of average. All right, space, because if you don't hit the space there, it's going to give you an error. I'll show you what that does in a second if you don't. So if I take this one, I take this out, right, and I leave that. I've got average basket amount here, average basket amount here. What's going to happen is it's going to give me this error. See that because it already exists because it's over here, and I can't have the same name over here. So let's do this. Let's just do a space. There we go. Bring this closer so it's a little bit smaller. Bring this closer so it's a little bit smaller. Let's correctly make this weak number just like we had over there. Bring this a little bit closer. Okay, so now that we've got that, okay, next what I'm gonna do, remember I did insert and I did pivot table. Now I don't need to do it because I already have the pivot table here. So now I'm gonna do a pivot chart based off the pivot table. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here is hit pivot chart, not recommended charts, pivot chart, okay. Then we hit pivot chart, right? Now in here I can pick any of these I want. I could pick a line graph on it, but I really want to have what I just showed you which is this clustered column chart right there. Okay, so we hit OK. It puts that here. Let's put that where we had it. Let's bring this over here. Now, first off, I don't want all these buttons on here, so let's remove all the field buttons on the chart. Next, let's bring this over a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I need to click here, bring back the chart title. Okay, and I don't remember what we called it, but let's just call this uh, Sales Basket metrics or by week by week okay so there we go we got average basket metrics let's stretch it out a little bit so we can see the numbers more clearly bring it down a tiny bit so it's a little bit bigger and there we go so that's the uh, pivot chart and pivot table method right now I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm going to do it differently so now instead I'm going to select ENF and the whole row right and then I'm going to go back here to insert, but instead of doing the pivot chart and the pivot table, I'm going to go to recommended charts. Let's go here and let's go to the bar chart, which would be this one, right? Let's pick this. It's a cluster column chart. 
let's put this down here so it looks pretty similar right let's go here bring that here bring that down a little bit now there's a couple oops I don't need that far down let's do it like that so now we'd have to go here and make this be the same so we do sales basket metrics by week and click off there and then look see where the uh, legend is here we'll maybe want to change the legend so if we go here we go to legend right let's go here let's bring it back again there we go and it goes back to the right so now we have basically the same thing the difference is this one's running looks more like currency than this one does but I mean it doesn't really matter it's the same thing so basically you saw how I did it the second time was the default I just used the default uh, method here now the problem with this is this is not a pivot chart and it's harder to change so I, this one here I could easily go in here and bring in sales and average basket whereas this one I got to rebuild it and just bring in the columns that I want or build another another uh, uh, chart down below or graph if I use the line graph but anyway that's how you do it real quickly so we did pivot uh, table pivot chart and then we also did the default method for creating an Excel bar chart and uh, this, these are really helpful and useful especially with the average basket average basket item or the average basket item amount and amount it's a mouthful there um, it's very helpful because you can actually track and see how people's purchases purchasing power went up did they have uh, did their baskets increase so like if we did a marketing campaign or blitz or did some emails here and marketed out and mailed out some coupons maybe that's what happened here maybe there or maybe just the local uh, traffic on this day and these days was stormy and that weekend not a lot of people came in that could very well be and maybe this weekend was nice and sunny maybe there was a big something big happened that day that caused them to buy an awful lot of stuff i bet you that day i think they told me that they sell lemon trees and they're more expensive because they sell the five gallon ones and those sell for between 50 and 100 dollars each so that would probably have boosted up the average basket amount whereas the items were very low so that would make sense there anyway i hope you found this helpful and interesting please take a moment to subscribe like and share and have a great day